in the previous session we have configured the listener right so let's check the status of it okay we have service prod1 running that's good now let's connect to this oracle database from the client machine and you see here i have a client machine i'm going to that client machine and now let's try to connect here we can directly connect without any tns entry right okay let's learn that method first how can we connect okay sql plus so with what user will we connect let's connect using john slash and the password is john 345 at the rate so what's the IP address it is 192.168.50.55 this is the IP address of our Oracle database right if you want go here check it if config okay I need to log in as root Entering the password, okay. If you see here 192.168.50.55, this is the IP address, right? Yes, so that's the IP address I gave. And then what is the port number? Colon 1521. And what is the database name? Slash prod1. You see, we are able to successfully log into the Oracle database. Let's see what is there. Okay, okay, there is a start table. Let's select from start. Okay, good. From my client machine, I was able to connect to the Oracle database. That's good. You see here, we used a lengthy connection string, right? We use the username at the rate the IP address of the Oracle database and then the port number slash the database name. Do we need to use the entire connection string every time you want to log in? If you want, you can use. It's not a problem. But what if I create a TNS entry and make this connection very easy? That would be wonderful, right? Yes. Let's do that now. So let me exit from here. Okay. Before launching the net manager, let me open the terminal and exhaust plus. Okay. Minimize that and then launch the net manager. It's being launched and here. Okay. Let's expand service naming there is nothing so we want the service naming and here let's click create okay you see this plus symbol that is create and here we want the name you can give whatever name you want okay i want to give as my prod okay you want you can give whatever name you want next and i want the connection to be tcp ip internet protocol next so what's the host name? You can either use linux.oracle, which is the host name of our Oracle database, right? Let's check it. See linux.oracle, right? Or if you want, you can give the IP address. Okay. What shall we give? Okay. This time, let's go with IP address 192.168.50.55. Five, and what is the port number it's 1521 right okay let's go back to the oracle database let's move up and where is our listener running you see the port is 1521 so we need to configure the tns entry at the same port number and click next and what is the service name okay the answer is here service prod1 this prod1 is our service name right okay 
let's go back to the client and say prod1 is my service and then click next and then if you want you can test it out okay let's ignore for right now and then click finish you see the service name my prod is successfully configured let me close this before closing it it is saying do you want me to save the changes click save and let's go to Oracle home okay and now let's go to network let's go to admin okay and let's see what are the files available you see I have a file name called TNS names dot aura and then let me see what is there in this TNS names dot ORA and you see here whatever the name I gave it is my prod and this service name is connecting via protocol TCP the host is 192.168.50.55 the port is 1521 and the service name is prod1 okay fantastic now can we connect to the database okay previously how did we connect if you look here we use this lengthy string to connect right so now let's see how we can connect SQL plus John and the password at the rate my prod wonderful right that's cool right you see just by giving the name the TNS name or the service name whatever you configured in the TNS name you are able to log into the Oracle database if you didn't have this TNS entry you had to mention the lengthy string the IP address call and the port number and then the database name but whereas here you just mentioned the TNS entry service name and you were able to connect to the Oracle database and here you can perform whatever you want we know there is a table called stud right this is how you can configure a TNS entry on your client machine and then connect to your Oracle database okay